Okay, let's do our usual standing warm up first. Maybe we'll do a balance practice too. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, and keep your weight even on both feet. So, pick up your toes, base of the toes and heels, evenly distributing your weight. Spread the toes out, no gripping, remember, we don't want to lift the base. And then, sitting bones down, keeping the hips open, ribs in and up, getting that core working. And then shoulders back and down and crown reaching to the center. So keep stretching the spine. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale to your heart. Stretch arms to the front, but keep your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you and clasp your fingers. Lift your heart, stretch your spine, and then pivot at the hips coming over. And just deepen into that forward winding down as deeply as you want this morning. Keep breathing and relaxing. Hands coming toward your head, head coming toward your legs. And then with your knees bent, ribs up, sitting bones down, wind your way slowly to the top, keeping your chin in and then lifting it into that upper body back. Head reaching back, hands toward the floor. So take a moment there, keep the toes spread out, and keep lengthening through your spine. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment just to feel your body. And again, inhale, reach out. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down. Hands behind, clasp the other way. And again, stretch and exhale over. So come again into your forward bend as much as you want. Relaxing, kind of move your head through your neck. Bend your knees if you want, or straighten them and lift the sitting bones for a hamstring stretch. And then slowly again, work your way back into the upper body through the back bend. Shoulders down, head reaching away, hands pressing down. And again, just maximize or minimize personal practice as always. Inhale to the top, release your arms. Take a moment feeling how that is through your spine. And arms out, palms to the ceiling, bow over your shoulders. Clasp your hands, bring the arms by your ears, shoulders down, and sitting bones toward the knee. Lean to the side, no twisting and reach out through your head and your hands. Keep breathing into the ribs as they stretch apart on your side. See if you can keep from tipping that top shoulder forward. You want to keep that side stretch lateral. And then inhale back to the top. Keep the shoulders down as you switch your hands the other way. And again, shoulders staying down, body staying to the front, lean to the other side. Stretch it out. Maximize down through your foot, out through your hands and head. And don't forget to keep breathing. And on an inhalation, come on up. And exhale it back to mountain pose. So shoulders releasing down, sitting bones down, arms out, ribs in, palms toward the ceiling, arms over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. And again, lengthen through the spine for our twist, and exhale, even tension. Keep the knees a little soft, keep the weight on both feet. Stretch on the breath in, pivot over as you exhale. So deepen as much or as little as feels good for you. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms next to your ears as much as you can, and just relax. And then slowly work your way up, heart toward the ceiling, pull the elbows back, keep the shoulders down, and always keep the upper body in focus while you're back there. Lengthen through the elbows, up with the heart, and down with those shoulder blades. And then inhale to the set top, exhale to the center, switch your arms around so we can twist the other. Again, lengthen the spine so it's got room to twist, and exhale the other. Breathe in, and exhale, coming over. 
And again, just deepen this time as much as you'd like on this side. See if you can keep the weight on both feet as evenly as possible. And just relax. And as you inhale, work your way back in the twist into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, looking toward the ceiling. And just lengthen as much as you'd like, opening the heart. And then inhale to the top, exhale back to the center. Keep your arms straight out right by your ears. See if you can keep them there with the shoulder blades toward your waist, pulling the sitting bones back, reaching your head forward, and just see if you can pivot till you're parallel to the floor with that body nice and straight. So if you're going, hmm, is it nice and straight? Are my arms still next to my ears? What's going on? Use a mirror, it helps. And then exhale down and join. So get a good stretch through that lower back, especially as you're here. You can pull those hands behind your legs if you want extra. And then hands releasing, keep them hanging, and wind your way again back into mountain pose. So staying there, just get yourself connected into your feet evenly. Keep the hips up and sitting bones down, shoulders and shoulder blades relaxed. We're just gonna do a basic balance practice warm up. So spread your toes, kind of pick them up, get the base of the toes really connected all the way across, inside and outside of the heel as well. Then the toes come down, but don't grip with that, lifts that base of the toe. You can have a chair next to you for support, or you can also do it right with your side against the wall if you feel a little bit more challenged. So kind of roll that hip in at the thigh, in at the top to get the bones stacked, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, getting good support through the bones. Ribs in and up for support on the spine, shoulders relaxed, crown to the ceiling, and then you just bring the other foot up a little or more or towards your heart. You can pull it in with your hands if you want to. Kind of make sure that that heel is coming toward your sitting bone rather than toward your thigh on the other leg. And then wherever it is, whether it's down or up, circle your ankle. So circles, just getting flexibility through the ankle because we don't want to get old and firm. And then flex and point a few times, getting the ankle just releasing and back into mountain pose. So as you get re-grounded into both feet, feel how that connection is. Again, kind of roll the hip in, get the bottom of the foot connected just like we did before, making sure that the toes don't lift the base of the toes. Sitting bones, ribs, sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, ribs in and up, or working for you for support as you bring that other leg to whatever level you want it to. And again, make sure you're not pressing that <laughs> Put over toward that other thigh or you'll throw things off like that. You want to keep things as structurally sound and straight as possible. And again, working your ankle. Make sure that you're allowing it to get a good circulation both ways, as well as flexing and pointing a few times. And release. And again, sinking into your feet, up through the spine, bring your arms up, look up, swan dive forward, chest and chin leading, and up into red dog. Bend your knees, and then come on down all the way to the floor. Hips toward your heels, hands, palms up, and relax. So deep breaths in. Remember, keep your knees together if you like the low back stretched more. Separate the knees if you like to breathe more easily. It's your choice. And as always, just feel your body. We're going to be on our hands and knees a lot, so if you need padding under your knees or padding under your wrists in case they are a little bit stressed, feel free to get that wobbly. So just take a few moments there, breathing. Shoulders relaxing, forehead dipping toward the end. And then arms out in front <coughs> and pivot up. So get your knees right under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. 
and get that spine nice and straight. So you want those bottom ribs up to support that blow back. So remember, just like when we're in mountain pose, up toward the spine and toward the heart so that core is actively supported, not letting that lower back sag down. And then if you have that tendency to hunch up through your shoulders, kind of shoulder blades towards your waist, chest expanding, maybe a little forward and down toward the mat. So you want the whole back as nice and straight as you can get it. So again, chin in, you don't need to look forward during this part of our cat. <clears throat> so table position, get pounding under your knees if you need to. Get your fingers really supporting you all the way through the knuckles, base of the fingers and heel of the palm. Whole hand connected for support, fingers spreading out. Kind of remember that the bend to your elbow should go toward the sides as well so that you're structurally sound. And then we're just going to do that usual cat. So inhale, dropping your ribs down, sitting bones up, looking forward now, chest forward and up, crown toward the seat. So you can look as far forward as you want, or if you don't want to stretch your neck too much in the back, crunching it, you can still look slightly toward the floor. Chest expanding, whole body sinking into as much of a back bend as feels good. And then sitting bones go down. And see if you can feel the bones of your spine as you round all the way up into that forward bend, angry cat. So your sitting bones go down each spine, bone moves, ribs go up, head tucks under, and chin in towards your chest. Top of the head toward the floor. Really arching up for a forward bend, <coughs> angry cat looking, and getting that full old body stretching through the back. And then inhale, coming back to your flat back neutral position. Make sure you're still supporting that spine correct. And then remember, if you need to circle your hands anytime, you can get that circulation going. You can bring your padding under your Heel of your palm to get the bend less, or you can finger inside, base of the fingers, ring part down to get rid of that bend altogether if you've got the wrist issues to that. So keep your back flat and exhale, turning to look towards your foot on one side, hip and shoulder coming close on that side. So remember. This side is contracting, but you're turning toward the other side. Those ribs are stretching apart. So see if you can breathe into the stretching apart ribs as you look back toward your foot. And then inhale, coming back to the center, lengthening your spine, making sure everything is straight. Exhaling, looking to the other side. Again, let the hip and shoulder come closer. And as you stretch through the side, you're turning away from. And look and see if you can see that. Keep breathing, lengthening through the spine, and then again, come back to the center. So forward bend, backward bend, just like we did standing up, and lateral side to side. Yeah, twists are next. So slide your hand forward, elbow down, hand right in front of your shoulder, and then move that shoulder further forward, keeping your hips over your knees. So you're kind of stretching your spine as so you shift that shoulder forward. And then rotate your whole body and look toward your other shoulder or the ceiling. So maximize the stretch, lengthening, turning your whole spine, not just your neck. Breathe, lengthen. And then return your face toward the floor, slide the hand back and table position. The other spine should be some nice twist circulation going on there. And then the other hand slides forward, elbow coming down. And once again, stretch your spine, getting a little bit more length by sliding that shoulder forward. Looking to the side, we're turning all the way toward the ceiling. Get your whole body turning. So the hips, ribs, and shoulder are moving deeper into that twist as you turn. And then return, looking toward the floor, press into the hand, and pull the other one back into table. So let's go ahead, sink back, go ahead and circle your wrists a little bit, making sure that you're ready for some more stuff. So 
So we'll do a little balance practice here in our table position. So as you come back to table again, do any padding that you need to. We're gonna slide one foot back up to hip level. <clears throat> and keep that hip roll down so that the inner thigh comes toward the other thigh. And the top of your foot and knee are down toward the floor. Opposite hand comes up, giving you that balance. So keep that hand in front at shoulder level. Stretch through your head and fingertips and out through the foot. And then bring your hand back down and your knee back down. And again, in table position, check everything. You notice how that feels. And we'll do the other side. Foot comes out up to hip level. Again, rolling that hip in so that you've got the knee and foot to the floor. Chest and shoulders stay also evenly toward the floor as you bring your other hand up. Arm by your ear, shoulder pulling back towards your waist as you stretch your fingers and head one way and the foot the other way, getting a good stretch through that balance. And then the hand comes down and the knee comes down as well. And again, just feeling your body coming back into your neutral table position. So we're gonna maximize that a little bit more. So the foot comes out, up to hip level, the arm comes out in front. Find your balance, keep that core activated, supporting you, making sure that lower back isn't sinking down. And then for a little bit more back bend, we're gonna turn the palm toward the ceiling, bend the knee, now remember you're rotating so that that foot comes directly up toward the ceiling, not reaching out to the side. And then lift your hand and your foot a little higher for a little bit of a back bend while you're balanced. Breathe, chest forward and up, looking ahead. And then bring everything back straight, palm facing back, and hand back to the floor, and knee back down. Again, adjust in your table position. Find as much of a good, sturdy position as you can for our opposite side. So, foot out and up to hip level, arm forward at next to your ear, shoulder. Stretch it out, palm toward the ceiling, roll that hip to make sure your foot goes straight up as you bend your knee. Lift the hand and foot, come into that back bend. Kind of focus on the chest forward and up so that you're getting most of your back bend through that upper body not so much in the lower back. And then straighten things out, palm toward the mat, and back into two. Take a moment there again, just feeling your body. Go ahead, sinking back, circling your wrists, giving a little bit of release. And when you're ready, coming back into table. So take a moment there, feeling how everything is. So we're going to continue. Now we'll do something different. We're going to take a break and work the hips <clears throat> a little bit more. So we're going to keep the legs in the 90 degree bends that they're in. And we're going to move one knee out to the side, bringing that leg up to about hip level. So you want the Eye uh, and shin and foot each perpendicular to the other. So pressing as evenly as you can into your hands as you lift that leg out to the side. This is the doggy fire hydrant position. And then bring that knee down. And again, even things up. So you'll probably feel that more in the outside of that hip rotator. It's a little bit strenuous, so be gentle if you need to. And we'll do, of course, the other side. So keeping things again 90 degrees, just lift that as much toward hip level as you can. Keep the elbows as straight as you can, weight in both hands as you lift that foot, keeping everything, again, perpendicular as it comes out to the side. Right at hip level. And again, pivoting back down coming into table position. So take a moment again, 
adjust your position if you need to. So we're gonna go back to the spine for a little bit of cat work. So pick a place in your upper body, anywhere between, say, shoulder blades and neck area, and pull that point down toward the floor. Keep your shoulder blades going toward your waist as you do that, and let your sitting bones come up. You can rotate your face and look forward. So you're coming into a back bend, and it's gonna be really dipping into that heart area in your upper back. So just keep sinking through that point you picked, feeling how that may be different from what you did before in the back bend. And then keep your focus on that same point, lift it toward the ceiling as you tuck the sitting bones down, tuck the head toward the, up of the head toward the floor, chin. So again, upper body as the focus for this forward bend. Feel it, maximize or minimize, remember personal practice. And then inhale and come back to neutral, table position. See if you notice a little more circulation in that upper back area of your spine where you are focusing your awareness. So moving it to the lower back. Be gentle if you need to, if you've got low back issues, of course. But someplace between your waist and hips, pick a point and sink that point down to the floor. So as you do that, your sitting bones will rotate toward the ceiling and move your chest forward and up shoulder blades still toward your waist as you look to the front. So coming into that lower body a little bit more for this back bend, don't be too intense if that's an issue for your body. Breathe into it, maximizing or not your choice. And then keeping the focus on that lower body point, imagine it could be the highest point you're reaching toward the ceiling. So lift it up as you tuck your chin down, top of the head down, sitting down, stand, see if you can feel like that lower back is really lifting into the floor. Maximize as much as it feels right. Arms by the ears. Sitting bones down. And then inhale and again coming back to neutral. And as you do, just again, focus on your spine, noticing where that circulation is after your awareness was connected in that lower back this time. And of course, we're gonna do the middle back this time. So go ahead and lift the ribs toward the spine, toward your heart. Make sure that that lower back is supported and find your solar plexus. Remember, between your ribs, beneath the sternum, above the navel. And bring that solar plexus to the floor. So right in the middle of your torso, coming down. And the ribs toward the floor, solar plexus down, sinking into that back bend in the middle of your body. Sitting bones lifting, chest forward, look into the front. Maximize through the solar plexus. And then solar plexus lifting up as you bring the sitting bones down, top of the head toward the floor. And again, maximizing through the ribs, the solar plexus really lifts that midsection up through the ribs, up through the solar plexus toward the ceiling. Tucking your chin as much as you'd like, getting a good forward bend stretch through your whole spine. And then again, inhale back to neutral. Feel the spine, and you'll notice the core may be a little bit more activated on that. And then again, let's let those wrists get a little bit of release. So we're gonna do another balance practice. This one's a little bit more complicated. So if you liked the previous balance practice, feel free to go back to that and you don't have to do anything. This one adds a twist. So again, up onto your hands and knees, wrists, elbows, and shoulders nicely lined up, knees right under your hips, spine supported with those ribs up and toward your heart, and chest a little bit toward the floor and floor. Get everything nice and straight, and we're gonna go into that balance practice. So bring one foot up, and up to hip level. Opposite hand out, coming out into shoulder level. Stretch it out and then reach your hand back and hold your foot and rotate a little bit toward the side as you lift that foot 
coming into a little bit of the twist. And then releasing the hand to the front and the foot back. Keep everything straight as you return hand and knee to the foot. Feel your body a little bit more stimulated, and we'll do the other side. Foot out, up to hip level, hand to the front, shoulder blades towards your waist, stretch it out, reach back for that foot, and again, lift it, coming into a little bit more of a twist by looking toward the hand on the floor side. And again, lifting that foot, maximize it as much as you want. And then releasing, bring the hand and foot back out, hand to the mat, and knee down. And again, coming all the way back onto your heels. Circle your wrists, just relax it. And then inhale and sit up on your heels. I'm gonna do just a really simple kneeling twist this morning. So take your body into its upright position through the spine, ribs in and up, just everything normal. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Take your hand to an opposite leg and the other arm out in front, just like normal. Stretch through your spine and then we're twisting. So bring your hand around, keep following. Notice your hip, your ribs, and your shoulder are moving. And then bring that hand to your opposite foot. <clears throat> so stretch up through your spine, and you can leverage with your hand on the knee if you love twists by lengthening your spine and then exhaling and deepening into the twist by turning everything, hips, ribs, shoulder, and head, everything, turning to look behind you. And then bring the hand back up, that's behind you, follow it back around to the center, and release. Feel your spine nicely energized, and we'll twist the other leg. So again, hips back on your heels as much as you like, and remember, you can have pattern, don't worry. Opposite hand to the outside of the knee, other arm out, shoulder level, stretch that spine for your twist, and exhale into it. And again, bring the hand toward your opposite foot and up through the spine for your twist. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, turning toward that area behind you. And again, maximize as much as your twist needs this morning. Exhale and relax. And then hand back to shoulder level following it to the center and releasing. Notice your spine and get ready for relaxation. So bring your feet out to the front toward the end of your mat and roll onto your back into your corpse position or choose some other position if you would like. Hands, palms up, shoulders, shoulder blades down, sitting bones toward your heels, Lower back, relaxing. And then bend your knees if you need to for a little lower back release, or you can keep them down if that feels comfortable. Deep breaths in, just close your eyes, focusing inward, releasing any tension anywhere in your body. So lots of spine work today. Just let your whole torso release any tightness. Breathe deep. As you exhale, just release all your muscles. Let your body grow heavier. Let everything just sink deeper into that earth embrace. Let your body go. Deepening that connection. And as you breathe deeply, just exhale, releasing any thoughts, any tension. Anything you no longer want to do, just let it go. As other thoughts come to your mind, just let them go as well. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift away. Floating like your breath. 
beyond the clouds, beyond the horizon, out of sight, out of mind. You just let your mind drift and your body sink and your whole body release. Focusing inward, finding that peace within. Just grow the peace in your body, growing your mind, growing your being. Simply peace. And if you'd like to keep relaxing, feel free to do so. Otherwise, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Let's begin moving everything gently. Releasing your wrists, your ankles, anything that feels like it needs moving. Press your back down as you draw your heels toward your hips. Knees in toward your heart for a final yoga hug of appreciation as deeply or not as your body needs. I'll just let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work it does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, just rolling to the side, coming into your seated position and preparing for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.